everyone my name is Nikki and I'm back for another gemstone haul so um, these are my gemstones that I have recently purchased and I was very attracted to um, you'll notice that some of them are, are darker and connected more with your base chakra um, but we're gonna go ahead and start with the with the lighter one which would be the rose quartz so I'm gonna remove these other ones and um, focus on this one. Now rose quartz, it, it's connected with your heart chakra and it opens you up to all types of love, unconditional love, um, romantic love, friendship love. Uh, it restores self-love, so it works with your self-esteem and your self-worth. It promotes confidence. Um, it promotes forgiveness peace and compassion also so I mean it's just all around a wonderful stone to work with um, for the betterment of humanity now physically um, it has some physical healing um, abilities and it can strengthen your um, your heart and your circulatory system and any kind of like chest congestion or ailments respiratory problems it can also help with and I heard that it can also increase fertility so um, if that's a problem that some of you deal with you might want to get your hands on some rose quartz the next stone I will show you is my pyrite now, I was going to buy a pyrite previously because it just really, really spoke to me. Like, I don't know. I never desired to have pyrite. And then one day I seen it and I'm just like, you know what? I really, really want it. But I don't know. It just don't feel right right now. Maybe it was just those particular pieces. I don't know. Um, but then the second location that I, I seen it in, I was just like, yeah, I'm going to buy some pyrite. This feels right. <laughs> So, um, pyrite is like, it, it's called fool's gold. Because miners used to, you know, think it was gold. And it does have a lot of the same properties. Um, but yeah, it's not actually real gold. <laughs> um, but pyrite, it connects with your third eye chakra. And it's connected to the sun. So this would be something that would be great to use in like sun meditation. It can bring forth, it's known to bring forth money and good luck and and it's a great manifestation stone so I mean this and it, it particularly works with wealth and prosperity and um, bringing you in some good fortune so I definitely felt like I need some pyrite <laughs> um, it's also um, like it works as like a, a protector an energy shield like it, it can put like a a barrier around you and and just let the negative energies bounce off of you now, when it comes to physical healing, it can combat inflammation. It can, um, it works with, a lot with the mind, so it can combat um, memory loss, depression. Um, it can also re reduce fevers, especially working in conjunction with some other stones. You know, put it right there on your head and, and let it reduce that fever. And um, I am going to try that. I'm, I'm actually I'm gonna look up what other stones I can use it with because I know there's some other stones I can use it with and some of my uh, my stones that I'm going to show you might be those stones um, but yeah I have three children and um, every now and again one of them gets a fever and I've, I've always heard about the stones being able to reduce fever but I've never actually tried it so that is something I'm definitely going to try okay the next stone I'll show you is my obsidian stone this is the largest now I have had obsidian in the past I don't know what happened to it I still I still have my snowflake obsidian but um, I had to get me a new piece of obsidian no um, it's really uh, what obsidian is it's really volcanic glass so it's very connected to the earth and um, to your root chakra it's very grounding and protecting stabilizing now obsidian in particular um, they call it the stone of divination and um, so it helps seers see <laughs> um, 
It, it also wards off negative energies like the pyrite. Works to just shield those those um, that bad juju. And um, it, and it's also sometimes called the mirror stone because it helps you have a better self reflection. Like you're able to see yourself for how you truly are, your true self, and and you're able to see what what needs changed within and and it helps you make the needed changes now um, physically with the physical healing it can help it's great for helping overcome addictions so a lot of people use obsidian to quit smoking or or to um, quit overeating it's a great diet stone um, it can also uh, rid emotional blockages and the only other thing I know without having to look it up is um, it can alleviate joint pain like arthritis so it's great overall great stone now the last stone I'm going to show you I've actually lost one of them is my hematite I bought two of them because they're magnetized I don't believe they come from the ground magnetized. I think the manufacturer magnetizes them, but either way, um, I had two of them, and um, my my children have been loving to play with my hematite. And of course, I just let them because, um, you know, it it's great for them. It's great for the stone. It gets all that playful, childlike energy into the stone, and um, and it's great for them because it has a lot of healing um, influences but they have lost one of my stones. I'm sure that since it is magnetized, it's stuck to a piece of metal around my house <laughs> and I just need to, you know, find which piece of metal it's stuck to. Um, but yeah, hematite, especially the magnetized ones, they are very grounding, um, very much connected to your, your root or base chakra. And um, actually when I was pregnant, um, with my third child, I had, I, I had some hematite and I, I got rid of it because every time I was around it or touched it, even touched it, it, it was either the grounding effect itself or the magnetism of it was so strong. So it, it was, there were two large chunks of hematite, um, larger than what I have now. It would make me feel very dizzy um very almost like a faint it was it was scary it scared me because i was pregnant you know i don't want to faint while i'm pregnant um so <laughs> i i don't i did you know i got rid of them and and now i kind of regret that because of course now i'm not pregnant and i don't believe it would have that effect on me and at the time it didn't have that effect on my children it didn't have that effect on anyone else it was just me and it was something with being pregnant so if anyone knows anything about that and the effects of hematite or the magnetism maybe it was just the magnetism was so strong when it comes to um pregnant women let me know down in the comments because it concerned me I, to, to the point to where I was just like, get that away from me. I can't be around it. Um, but, uh, but yeah, usually it has a very positive effect on a person. Um, it, it can balance you emotionally and physically. Um, it stabilizes you. It can calm and center you. And that's what I've been thinking about when my when my uh, middle child, when he plays with my hematite, I'm just like, you know, I'm always worried that he's going to lose it. And of course he did. But um, I'm just like, I'm telling myself, you know, it's a wonderful thing for him to play with because it's going to calm him down. He's a very hyperactive child and, and it's going to stabilize him and, and make him more centered. And in um, a lot of ways it does because he'll sit there and try to make up magic tricks with with. The magnets that the hematite and the and cards and stuff but um but yeah <laughs> um this is another stone that's great for eliminating those negative energies and just letting them bounce off of you it works as like a force field um it's good for promoting originality with creative thinking and um it helps you get your priorities straight it helps you clear the mental clutter in your head now this is also a great stone to deal with when it comes to logic and reason. So like if you are any kind of problem solving, and I always think about mathematics and, and geometry. If you're trying to understand something like some kind of mathematic formula or strategy or some kind of something to do with geometry, 
um, this is a great stone to work with and actually you know I want to incorporate a lot more um, geometric symbolism and and getting to know my my geometry a lot better when it comes to my meditation because those things are strong those are powerful um, just the symbol the symbols themselves are very powerful anyway moving on with the physical healing um, this is great also for your memory this is another stone like the obsidian that can um, pr or help overcome addictions now I heard hematite was also good for your eyes healing your eyes you can actually like sit the hematite on your eyelids and it, it's supposed to help um, uh, you know um, heal your eye vision and and I don't know I think I'm gonna try that if I ever find my second hematite stone I'm gonna set them on my eyelids and meditate with them because um, yeah I have very poor eyesight and anything that can correct it or strengthen it I'm all for it can also promote sleep so I don't know maybe sit it on your eyelids and <laughs> now um, uh, maybe put it underneath your pillow and that's something I'm gonna try too because lately I've been wearing my my jade ring that I that I bought recently and if you see my last um, gemstone haul you'll know about my jade ring and you know the first night that I wore it I never really thought anything about it but I was like having the most vivid dreams and it was actually keeping me awake like I'd wake up and start thinking about these dreams that I was just having so um, I soon realized oh hey it's the jade ring that I'm wearing because it is called the dreaming stone it will cause vivid dreams so I had to take it off I take it off at night now and I, I don't wear it to sleep because I actually like to sleep through the night and um, and so instead I think I might you know try my hematite so that way because I'm the type of person I don't, I don't care if I dream or not I just when I go to when I go to sleep I want to like just forget that I even exist and and you know when I wake up in the morning I'm like what happened so anyway that is it for the gemstone haul I hope that you liked it and that you found it interesting and um, and yeah hopefully I will get some more soon again I do plan on buying more you can never have enough gemstones people never ever so <laughs> until next time, thanks for watching.